gonna say oh you're amazing no thank you sweetheart okay yeah, don't hurt you now. <laughs> I'm like what Oh, hey guys, welcome to the October 2020 edition of Unlock the Box, the series where myself, my mother, my husband try every item in this month's keto box. Like, this is one of the best boxes Ooh. I've received this year, really? both crate and box Ooh. alike. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Wow. Let me guess, there's a lot of sweets. Oh my God, how did you know? <laughs> but not just a lot of sweets. There's some sweets in particular that I'm really excited about. Um, but like, if you want to be entered in a chance to win your very own Keto Box, stick around to the end. We're gonna be drawing a winner. But if you don't want to wait around for that nonsense, you can go ahead and use the link in the description box below to get a discount off of your very first Keto Box. This is the box to do it on, okay? <laughs> um, okay, so we're just going to start right off. There are a couple of things that we cannot try for various reasons. Okay. Number one, these California Keto, good job, Richard. I know, I blew oh it, I blew it, I'm oh so ashamed. Let's myself. try it again. Number one, these California Keto, thank you. Um, pumpkin spice cookies, right? Because yes. sweetheart, look, pumpkin spice cookies, uh -huh. look what you have to add, butter and pumpkin puree. Oh, wow. That's, I was like, wait a minute. You have to add your own pumpkin to you the pumpkin lying. cookies? Like, what and good does right. that serve? Yeah. yeah. So, like, we, that, so like. we don't have any in the store. No, it's at the store in the baking section or in the canned yeah. vegetable so like, section. Like where the canned cherries are? Or yeah, like exactly. Like anything okay. you would have in a pie. Yeah. But, like, so if I would have known that, shop. exactly. It's like, if I would have known that, I would pick some up at the store, but we don't have any on hand. Okay. And we're just like, well, there goes that. Right. Exactly. So I'll be making these sure at some point. Anything? No, I'm sure okay. we don't have no pumpkin in a can, you know? <laughs> so we won't be making these. Uh, and then also something okay. else we won't be making, but for like a lot better reason. So this Palmini lasagna. Like hearts of palm. Exactly. These are hearts oh, of palm. Special occasion. Exactly. I said we was going to have them for our next keto date night. Mm -hmm. For our next keto date night, my honey buns is making me lasagna. Oh, okay? Boy, and so... Nice. Yeah, I am really excited about that, but like it doesn't make sense for us to have prepared yes, a lasagna yes. for uh, today. So those are the things that we could not try. One thing that we are not going to try, Richard, move on. One of the things that we are not going to try is this uh, pure sugar-free chocolate mm -hmm. drink mix because we had it last month yes, in the did. keto crate. It was like whelming it was regular yes. af you know so we're just not going to try this again if you want to see our reactions to that you can watch our keto crate unboxing from last month it marginally improves the flavor of whatever liquid you just put it in teach. yeah like a tinch and like we don't need all them logistics for that so we're not going to try that either <laughs> Finally, well next, actually something else. Should we try this? I'm sure you guys want to try. Laguna Salt Company Pink Himalayan Salt. Like we got an actual, we got an actual shaker of salt in the keto box. And I'm definitely here for that. Like it just tastes like salt. Do we want to try I mean, the salt? Hawaiian Himalayan salt. Bro. It's pink Himalayan handcrafted oh, sea yeah, salt. Oh yeah, when it's handcrafted, that's different. That changes everything. When it's handcrafted, yes. you've got to try mm -hmm. the handcrafted salt stuff. Wasted away again in Margaritaville. What does oh, the salt? Mm -hmm. no. No. Shake yeah. your salt. There's that. Okay, you guys, so this is clearly a mixture of it pink smell and white salt. My husband. Um, okay, salt. Mm. Tastes like salt. Um, that's just regular old salt to me. Mm -hmm. So at least it tastes yeah, like salt. Yeah. The next thing we're going to try, which I'm a little more excited about, this is Lily's Q Zero Sugar Carolina Barbecue Sauce. Ooh, we use Ooh. our spoons again. Yes. We're, now we're just going to spoon try this. Lily's Q Zero Sugar Barbecue. This is Western North Carolina nice. tomato. Well, so see if we, see if yes. we can taste that these Basically. tomatoes. See if we can taste that these the tomatoes Western, came from yeah, Western, Western North Carolina. North Carolina. Yeah. I don't really taste the West yes, in these in this mm. barbecue no, sauce. I'm that. sick of y'all. Okay. So let's look at the, the oh, it has a very good biscuits nice. consistency. Exactly. It looks, yeah, so it's like yeah. Like yes. that's the actual like. word. Exactly. No, this looks good. It's it's not dark. It kind of looks like a mustard mm -hmm. base. Let me see the bouquet. With this. The bouquet. I'm sick of y'all. It does look more lighter, more mustardy. Okay. Mm, it tomato. smells kind of spicy. Okay, let's go for it. Let's go. 
Oh my God. Woo! I'm not gonna lie. That Woo! tastes just like McDonald's barbecue sauce. Like uh. that, I can dip a chicken nugget right in that. Oh it God. definitely has a tang Ooh, and has God. a spice to it. Yes. Like there is a medium heat that like hits you right it as just you're eating it. my butt in the beginning. Yeah, yeah but see it faded away though. Yeah, like it mine, like, on, mine yeah. faded completely away. Oh, so it's, it's like not a like a, too. yeah, it's not yeah. like a heat that stays there. The tang is what it's stays with you. Mm -hmm. Yes. But that's really good. 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 Like I I'm gonna have to go to liliesq.com yeah. And see what other flavors they have. Yeah, they but that's really good. The barbecue bar that's right. Yeah. So I'm, sugar -free I'm not mad at you. Be worried. watch out, mm -hmm. G Hughes. What number okay. Would you give that? Oh yeah. What um tier would I rate this? I would say tier two. I would say two as two. well. Yeah. But tier one, if this was in the store. If it was, was like say, sweet baby I rays, definitely. uh, you know, G Hughes, and this was yeah. right next okay. to it, and if the yeah. price was comparable, yes. I, I really no, love that. I mean, that I would choose that. If I love the price that spice. Was comparable, I would yeah. go one. If they're yeah. all even price. I agree. No, okay. I I this is a tier one. one. Mm -hmm. But if I have to buy this on the internet, yeah, yeah. then I'm just gonna stick to what I'm there buying in the store. But that was actually really good. Yeah. Next, we are going to try. Look, slim fast keto fat bomb snack crisps, real cheddar cheese. So now, now Slim is, Fast is getting into the cheese crisp okay. game, you know? Yeah, this is interesting. Yeah. This looks like a snowflake. Oh, it does look a... Grab yeah, let's go ahead and grab one. It looks like a snowflake. like a little disc. Yeah, it's definitely... It's a disc more than a ball. Yeah. Okay, I'm, well, mad. I'm mad because look at everybody got it and then look what I get. Okay, oh thank you. Oh my gosh. <laughs> My mom, I mean, she got more I, than me. I got one and they have a handful. No, he has two. Oh, oh, two. And I oh. accidentally poured more. Okay, regardless, this is a much, it's like a thicker disc than a, th thank you everyone, than a cello whisk and it's definitely smaller. Okay, real cheddar cheese. Well, they into like a baby shark. Try it. Crunch is delicious. The crunch is great. Now, oh, yeah. to me, the flavor is good. It's not like boom strong cheese, mm -hmm. but no. it's good. No. This is definitely munchable. Mm -hmm. Like if there's a little bag of these next to the couch, mm -hmm. I'm head butting these. Yeah. I mean, for me, they're tier two. Like whenever mm -hmm. I have a product that's already in my life, mm -hmm. if, if another version of that product comes out, it's going to take a lot for me to switch. No, like I would never need to purchase these above Cello Wisps, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. But if you don't have access to Cello Wisps and you just find the Slim Fast in your local grocery store, they're, really good. Oh, they're good. I'm going to give them a two, two plus. Two. Yeah. Two plus. Next, we are going to get out of the way this Think Jerky grass fed beef stick. It's original. Like, yeah, it's original. It's dumb and I hate it, but we're going to try it. Okay, I got, I got my little bitty piece. There you go. I mean, this looks like a beef stick. It's going to taste like a beef stick. Well, I am over it. Oh, it's it's original. Oh, it's grass fed. He's, Richard, Richard's going to say, I don't taste the grass. Like, come on. Like, are you going to try it? Yes, I'm ready. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Beef steak. Mm. I mean, she's I right. I taste the grass. Mm -hmm. But mm. next, oh, this is exciting. Ooh. We're gonna try shrewd food protein puff, sour cream and onion. Yeah, we we know that we're gonna like this. Like, I love shrewd food. I love protein puffs, and like as long as this, yeah, it's like as long as this tastes like sour cream and onion, I know I'm gonna love it. So yes. Okay. Do it. Love the balls. It's probably like kicks. Oh wow, that. those are big. Oh, yeah. oh that's what she's saying. Nice. Too. Yes, they are. They are larger, definitely larger than kicks. So yeah. Did you just eat one? <laughs> Well, it was like a small grain. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Why am I even like, taking the time to organize brick. and show everyone it, if you're was, just going to pop it back? It was a small corner one. And, and just my, just and try my, it. My just OCD try it. My would not allow it to be with the other normal balls. The sour cream and onion flavor <laughs> is not as strong. No, not really. But I like it. I like the crunch. I love the crunch. Mm -hmm. And... I really liked the onion flavor of that. Like whenever I would get pockets of onion flavor, I really liked it, but the flavor is not as strong. Like I'm going to compare this to the sour cream and onion uh, Quavos that we tried a while ago. Oh, yeah. And those were way stronger, you know? Um, but these are good, but you know, like just not as strong of a flavor, but the flavor is good. Definite tier two for me. Like 
I'll keep those and try them like anytime. I would say three just because I don't think the flavor is strong enough. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying two. I mean, I agree the flavor is not strong enough, but maybe the crunch hit it. Yeah, it's good. Mm -hmm. Okay, next we have Love Good Fat. We're moving into the sweets, which I'm excited about. Love Good Fat. This is their Chewy Nutty Bar. This Mm -hmm. is the salted caramel flavor. We have had a Love Good Fats bar before, uh, and we really liked the Chewy Nutty versions of them. So... I expect this All one right. to be no different. Caramel sea salt. It oh, looks, it looks wonderful. It looks chewy yeah. and nutty. Mm-hmm. I am excited about that. Oh, you can see like whole almonds. I do like that the bottom has like that coating, like mm-hmm. a like a chocolatey sort of coating. Yeah. So at least the flavor is going to be all around. Exactly. Okay, let go. Mmm. Mmm. Smells great. Chewy, nutty. That was really good. I give it a two. I enjoyed it. Definitely Depending two, two. on the price, I'll give it a one. Yeah. I mean. That's true as well. Really chewy, really nutty, r- like a really good texture, like a good Big chew flavor. bar. Yeah. That was, and it was salty, caramelly. Yes. If I saw that in the store somewhere, definitely would buy it. Um, but otherwise, tier two. But the flavor of that is great. Mm-hmm. Yummy. Hmm. Next, we have Fat Bar. This is, what flavor is this? Coconut and macadamia. So we have also had fat bars before. Um, the flavor was faint, if I could remember, but the texture is, it's like nice and chewy as well. Coconutty. It looks yeah. coconutty. Yeah, it looks coconutty, but you can see this Whoa. texture is a lot more homogenous. Like this is just like one yeah. thing. You can, you don't see chunks of things in this. Yeah, so. It's true. It's like just a straight plain granola bar. Yeah, yeah. but it, it mostly it looks like coconut. So yeah, like, like shredded, yeah. shredded yeah. coconut. It gives you the feeling though of a granola. It does. Mm-hmm. It does. It's not okay. smell like anything. Are you eating it? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. It does smell like Yeah. Coconut macadamia. Very subtle coconut. Mm. No macadamia. I'm going to tier three on this. I know. I really like it. The yeah. flavors, those flavors are always yes, really, cool. really, really subtle. No matter what flavor fat bar it is. Mm-hmm. I mean, to me, that's a tier two. Like, it's a bar that I am going to me. eat. Mm-hmm. If someone gives it to me, you know, but I'm not necessarily no. buying those. Something I'll else that I'm very excited about. Professor Nuts peanut butter reimagined. Hashtag peanut better. I did not see that. Oh, peanut no. better. It's a little bit a jar of mm-hmm. peanut butter. Isn't that so cute? That's so cute. So everyone get your spoons out. I can't have it. Oh my, this is a really nice consistency. This is old school smooth. That is, that is the flavor or whatever. Yeah, it so, says on the bottom. Yes, it says old school smooth. It does say mix, even though it really hasn't separated a lot. Keep it's a runny yeah. I mean, I like that. I like yeah, the yeah. I like the uh, the consistency. Okay, let's go. Mm, oh, it's thick. Mm. My mouth is stuck together. Yeah, like my mouth is stuck together. Um. Honestly, That's this good. is the best tasting peanut butter, like nut butter, I've ever had. Wow, that's bold. Mm, I mean, I yeah, I don't really like the ingredients. Like the second ingredient is corn fiber. Then there's grapeseed extract, organic safflower, lecithin. Like, you know, all those, all of those other peanuts are just like peanuts and sea salt. Right, you know, exactly. peanut like this is so smooth and tasty because of all those additives. So I wouldn't necessarily buy this. Like, like I said, if I'm gonna eat this. I might as well eat Jiffy on a cheat day. You know, like that's how I feel. Like I'm not buying this. I'm buying regular peanut butter. So this is tasty. This is definitely a tier two. I wonder where you can buy this. Like online, like, you know, Professor Nuts, N-U-T-Z dot com. I'm going to look, see how much it costs, but, and to see all the other flavors as well. But that's, that's not bad at all. Okay. Next we are having my favorite keto snack bar of all time. Keto fit chocolate bar it's one of those chalky crumbly bars you know i love those right but this just happens to be my favorite flavor and my favorite brand bar because perfect keto makes bars similar to this as well Mm -hmm. but i likes this one even better okay let's try well you are weird though Mm -hmm. Mm. i just love it i like i disappeared just in your mouth and like flood your mouth with flavor um chocolate that's the only flavor they make i love that that i see why though it's just crumbly 
And but it has like chocolate chips or chocolate chunks oh, in it. The best aftertaste. Uh, yeah, I think it's one of the best mm. aftertaste too. That is a tier one for me. I love that Keto Fit bar. Like it is my jam. The very last thing, Chalk Zero dark chocolate chocolate pumpkins. Ooh. Like these are going to be. You know now I bet these are Show just going to, to be. America. I, I bet these are I know, just going right? to be. She's so excited. She were going to do I know, right? <laughs> I bet these are just going to Screw be protocol. chocolate molded pumpkins. Ooh, but like, I really wish brand. these were like, uh, yes. Well, yeah, right. I really it's wish like these were like treat. Reese's pumpkins oh that have God. peanut butter in them. But I think this is just molded chocolate. Say, it okay, it's not getting too right. particular. But it's going to be good. That is, oh, that is really cute. It's just molded dark chocolate. Yeah, it looks are yours good. Pumpkins too. Yes, oh all of ours are pumpkins. Do you just have scary face on yours. I think it's the same one. Oh, oh my monster. god. Yeah, yep, scary face. Yep, scary face. Like... No, nope, that's a different. Yeah, scary face. No, mine is like it's like thinking it's bad things about me. Yeah, yeah. this one. Oh my god. That one has like fangs. Oh my gosh. Okay. Yeah. All right. I gotta eat you now. Dark chocolate. <laughs> It tastes like they're dark chocolate. Mm -hmm. yeah. To be honest, the end, the I end. like their like bark better. You yeah, know, right, like right. The, that has oh, pecans yeah. or almonds or anything. I had a bitter finish at the yes. end. Yes, because it is dark chocolate. Mm -hmm. So I think to your point, Richard, this is good for like keto trick or treating, mm -hmm. like sugar free, tr you know, trick or treating. Well, exactly. So you don't want to give your kids or the neighborhood so what's kids. The pumpkin in it? No, it's just oh, molded. Pumpkins. Yeah, molded oh, pumpkins. Yeah, no. It's like the pumpkin flavored chocolate bits? No, no, no. They're just like molded. So this is like the equivalent That's of like cool. a chocolate bunny for Easter. Yeah, exactly. It's a chocolate pumpkin for Halloween. Sugar free chocolate pumpkin. Yes, exactly. Like that. Um, that's a tier two for me. That is not something that I would have to like rush to get, you know. If anything, I'm getting their like chocolate bark or their milk chocolate bars okay, and syrups say, and things just like that. A trick or treater? No, just oh. because like I don't need that right, chocolate. Exactly. This treat in my life. Thing. Oh my god, I just had the best idea ever. Ooh, chocolate your chocolate's in my peanut butter. butter. Here, here, oh, okay. don't do this I again. Mean, that's... So here she goes. Do you want to try one, Richard? I do. Here, I'll show you yours. Okay, no, you won't. Oh, <laughs> never mind. Oh, just give it there a dip. See, there we go. Okay, mom clearly oh, scooped, but that's okay. Straight. And his is mostly covered in peanut butter. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I like peanut butter. Little peanut butter. Mmm. Mm. Now you want the other half. Yeah, peanut butter makes it awesome. And it really does, though. It does. Dark chocolate isn't as sweet and it's bitter, and that peanut butter adds a salt and a sweetness right. that really, mm. really helps. Mmm. So true. So, Cocoa Zero or Coke Zero? No, Chalk oh. Zero! Oh. Overall, I really liked this keto box. Like, there were some things that we didn't try, like the pumpkin cookies and the palmini pasta but like we are gonna try those i'm looking forward to that i know right but everything that we had today was either delicious and flat out something i knew i would love or just like you know that was good you know there were no stinkers uh in this box like sans the meat stick but that's just yeah, my yeah, that's just shade. yeah but i mean that's just my current taste but other than that like all the sweet things that we had even all the savory snack things that we had were delicious i am so excited for the person that wins this keto box send me an email to watch autumn keto at gmail.com that person is i am so happy for you let try the peanut butter like if <laughs> Oh it's your little baby. Don't forget, if you did not win, that don't matter because you can still get a discount off your very first keto box by using the link in the description box below. Okay, quickly, what was your favorite thing? Um, Already not going. I don't, going. Say, I don't remember. Oh. Oh, that one bar thing that I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember what it was. The the love good fat yes. bar. Oh my God. Richard, quickly. Mine was the barbecue sauce. Mm, oh, oh, yeah, that, that was, was really that good. Was good. Okay, well, that was awesome. Overall, this was an awesome keto box. I am getting more and more impressed with these keto boxes mm -hmm. as I receive them. Um, comment down below, did you get this month's keto box? What was your favorite thing? I would love to hear about it. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel, Watch Autumn Keto. I make weekly meal preps, weekly full days of eating, monthly weigh-ins, monthly keto crate and box unboxings and the occasional product review and recipe. You can also find me on Instagram, Facebook, and Patreon at Watch Autumn Keto. Thanks, and we'll see you next month. Bye. Bye.
Come on, just snap it in half. There we go. Well, I'll save the chapter for somebody who actually wants it. Oh my God. We ready? Are you ready? We ready? Yes, I'm ready. No. Okay. No. It's all back. I'm just all locked up. Yeah, I was like, I can wait a minute, you guys. I can't. I better taste that explanation. Exactly. I better taste that explanation. Oh my goodness. Whoa. Well, there we go. Game changer. That was delicious. I will take my husband's other pumpkin half. Mm -hmm. Just get that out of the way. So. Everybody. Y'all ain't worth nothing.